Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of Jared Stumbles Through, and today... Whoa. Some weird stuff happening on the screen there. Uh, we're playing... I suppose you could say a controversial game? Given that... Not a lot of people like this game. This is Final Fantasy Mystic Quest for the Super Nintendo, which is now going to go into attract mode. I like how their name for... The character in attract mode is Demo Play. Uh, so this game came out after Final Fantasy 2, aka Final Fantasy 4, in the States on the Super Nintendo, and was basically trying to cash in on the popularity of RPGs, especially in Japan, and also trying to kind of cultivate more of a following in America and, and like English-speaking regions. And this game essentially is an easier RPG. It's kind of like, here's your introduction to, to RPGs. And given that we had already basically had, you know, like Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 2, uh, some of the Dragon Quest games that come out over here already, like, people kind of already knew what to expect from RPGs at that point, and to have something that kind of like was quote-unquote dumbed down for, you know, the, the players and the audience over here, it was basically seen as insulting, and that's kind of why it never really helped the RPG market here. It was just like, oh, well, I could go play any, either of these other games, and that's exactly what I would want compared to this. But there are some redeeming things to this game. One of them is the music, which is pretty fucking dope, especially that battle theme. My village is gone. What on earth is going on? This place is going to sink any second. Let's climb up quick. I'm gonna actually turn down game audio just a tad. There we go. Press the B button and jump across. I did it. That's a slow-moving, uh, pillar that's falling down. Look over there, that's the focus tower, once the heart of the world. An old prophecy says that the vile four will steal the power and divide the world behind four doors. At that time, the night will appear. The prophecy has now come true. Four monsters have locked the doors of the focus tower and escaped with the keys. They're draining the light from the four crystals of the earth, and the world is in chaos. The people are in desperate need of help. Jared. Only you can save the crystals in the world. Me? Yes, you, Jared. Only you could be could be the knight spoken of in the prophecy. Look out, a monster! Ow. So one of the cool things about this game is that is different from, say, other Final Fantasies at the time was, like, the sprites actually deteriorate. And that's kind of like a way to tell, oh, well, I'm doing this much damage or I'm this much closer to actually taking this thing out. We defeated the enemy. Seems I was right, unless I found, I found a true knight. But you said you were sure I was the one. Well, actually, it was more of a guess. Shrug shoulders. Forget it, just tell me where I can find the crystals. It's up to you to find them. This place is becoming dangerous. Follow me to the level forest. Shrug shoulders. A lot of shrugging of shoulders are happening here. Gotta get out of here. Who is that guy anyway? Psh, that place is gone. It's not actually have control. There you are. What do you think I should do first? Save the crystal of Earth. See ya! <laughs> Later! That boulder is blocking my way back to town. Would you shove it aside? Look at that. Thank you. If you want to go through this forest, find Kaylee in Foresta and show her this. Receive twi tree with her. Alright, later.
This is forced to... Talk to all these people. We can also swing a sword. Like, ha ha ha, because we can't stab them. Because we'll just talk to them. Strange trees are growing, growing in the level forest. The crystal of earth is north in the bone dungeon. You don't want to go to the bone dungeon. You don't want to get boned there. This is... a place? If you're tired, have a rest in that bed. And now I feel better. Now I'm just gonna do a pose. Obviously, like, I think, like, the story of this is kind of, like, bare bones. Like, it's like, oh, find some crystals, save the world type of thing. And also, it is pretty short compared to most of, you know, the RPGs at the time. I think it's, like, around 10 hours long. But, I mean... Back then, that probably was a problem, but nowadays, it's like, dude, cool, 10-hour RPG, I'm down for that. Thanks for the help back there. Take the chest in the back. Uh, well, maybe. There's a glowing thing over here. Can't do anything with that, I guess. Uh, also, you can save at any time, it seems like, so that's pretty dope. So let's bump up that a little bit. We can change. We can change the... Oh, God! <laughs> Don't do that! We can change the window color to whatever we like. Let's go with that, because that looks cool. Our status, that's our weapons, that's our armor, that's the spells we don't have. We don't have any items except that tree wither. So let's get out of here. Can't run that fast. That's probably uh that's the downside. But I mean did RPGs did RPGs at this time actually have like a run button or anything? Probably not. The monster can drain energy from a person. I'm really just a child. Well, it sucks to be you. My husband, Mac, forgot his captain cap. I hope nothing happens. People really love their crystal things. I'm Kaylee. There's a tree blocking the north exit of the level forest. I can chop down the tree, but the monsters have taken over the forest and I can't get to it. I can help you with that. Come on, let's go. Don't you dare take Kaylee anywhere dangerous. Listen, Mom. Hey, that tree with her looks awful. How much the trees must be suffering. Okay, you win. <laughs> I'll grab my axe. Don't worry, Mom. Now we got a new party member. Our party members of two. Can we use her axe to cut down... <laughs> barrels. Or am I just dumb? That's also a possibility. I can make that cool noise. That's about it. Alright. Let's head back to the forest and cut down some trees. And be like, yo, what's up? Trees are getting cut down. And then we can fight some enemies and hear the, the dope battle music. Let me cut this with my axe. We've got to reach the north exit. Here we go. Man! Fucking listen to this! This is some raw ass battle music. One shot, one kill. Also, we actually have to. We gotta put her under our control. And by that, I mean, like, not... So, so, so she doesn't do, like, auto attacks. Okay, there we go. Bonk. It's like, bleh! So we don't have a lot of health. In case you haven't noticed. Got a lot of experience. All that stuff.
we, now we only have two magic left. Missed. Oh no. Crit. Made up for it. on these hits. There we go. Level up. So I don't know what that bar under under our health does. Funny noise. <laughs> this is the evil tree I was talking about. Oh no, it was an enemy. Oh ho ho. Surprise. Well, <laughs> he poisoned me just as he did the, the, the trees. Now we're just gonna fight a minotaur. <laughs> Oh no, defense down. And it did damage. Oh wow, that killed me. Oh, so, so those bars down there are like extra... Health bars. Ow. This might not go so well for us. So now we're out of health magic. Ouch. Crit. Crit! Hey, we did it! And she falls over. Haley, what happened? I'll be okay as, as soon as I take Elixir. That's in the Sand Temple. Don't worry, I'll get it. Then take the axe with you. I'll be back. <laughs> Alright, well now we have an axe and we're just by ourselves now. I can do this stuff now. These slimes can't do anything to me. 